Hello folks, welcome back. In this lecture we are going to see how can we convert our Ansible playbook into a role. First thing, why should we need to convert our Ansible playbook into a role? The thing is, if you are continue to write your Ansible playbook with multiple tasks, after some period of time it will be start creating a confusion. If we take our playbook itself, I am just opening with more. We have added multiple tasks where we are installing Apache and Red Hat as well as on Debian and also copying index.html file, changing default port number and ensuring that services are started or restarted whenever there are changes. So these all are the tasks we are doing with a single playbook and if it is continue to grow, we can start getting confusion. To overcome this problem, we can split our tasks into different folders depends upon the kind of activity what does it do and we can manage it very easily that is one thing second thing is the major advantage with the role is reusability currently we are writing ansible playbook to install apache httpd assume that you want to do the same task for some other project now you don't need to write again a additional playbook or role for the same tasks you can use the existing one so that is the major advantage of using roles. If we do remember, we have created a role called Setup Apache initially when we were testing. Now we are going to convert this Ansible playbook into a role. Okay. To do that one, I am going to open one more session for Ansible master node. I mean to say control node. Let me log in as a ANS admin and cd slash opt Ansible. and clear the screen so if you see ls i'm going inside to my role and uh, here tree dot if i do it is going to display the content in the tree structure here we have multiple folders that is defaults files handlers meta readme tasks templates tests vars so we'll convert our ansible playbook into this one and also if you see the naming conventions it is quite generic so defaults nothing but it contains default values handlers nothing but we can keep handlers over here meta metadata readme information about this role tasks nothing but we are going to keep tasks over here templates if we have templates and we want to copy according to the target system behavior we can keep those files under templates tests we can keep test inventory and test yml file and we can test it then where's if you have variables we can keep it over here and i missed files so if you would like to copy some files onto target system we can keep under files so this is the structure and also if you see our playbook our playbook also contains some of this information okay we'll copy our ansible playbook we'll copy that data into our ansible role so if you see here hosts become all this stuff you can just leave it for time being and uh, next parameter is vars nothing but we need to use this variable so if i go here we have a directory called vars so under this one we should copy let's edit it vars main.yml so under this one we should keep our variables so i'm copying our variable port 8082 let it be now go back so we have copied our verse. Next thing is tasks. So these all are the tasks. We should copy these tasks into task section. While copying, we should not copy this header. We just need to copy all these tasks. So let's copy these. I am copying first three tasks. Then remaining I will copy. So VA. Next one is tasks main.yml. And we have two more tasks so let's go down yep so here you can see the alignment these tasks starts from each task starts from the starting because we don't have any header section so it should be like that so it avoids some of the syntax errors right so we have copied tasks next thing we need to copy index.html. So index.html file is available under slash opt ansible. We should copy this one onto files section. So let's copy that one cp 
slash opt ansible index.html to files so i have copied this file under files next comes to the headers sorry handlers so we need to copy all these handlers under handler section so let's go here and uh, va handlers main.yml copying here so that's it let's save this file so we are using vars tasks files and handlers we have splitted our ansible playbook into this one now one last thing i am going to do is i may or may not send my variables that is the reason in case if i miss it to send my variables i need to give some default value that is where you can update the defaults in case your playbook needs some information but but if you don't provide that information it is going to take from the defaults in our case we are using a variable called port so i am passing that one through the variables if i am not passing that value through variables then take the default values so i am going to define our default value like defaults main.yml so going to insert mode port so in case if you are not providing your variable then use the default port number as a 8080 let's save this one that's it so total we are using five directories and we don't require meta i'm removing this one and also templates we don't have and uh, tests usually we never use tests i'm removing all this stuff near role tasks is mandatory remaining all directories are optional so that's all i can say we have created it appropriately you can see here these all are anyway updated but under files we have index.html now our role is ready but how can we execute role there is no new way you just need to create a ansible playbook in the playbook we should call the role that is the only thing we should do so let's go back and i am going to update the same playbook that is setup apache.yml before updating let me take the backup cp i'm just going to give underscore backup now we will edit this one so same file what we need to do is we just need to remove all the content except first three lines oops okay so this is the file what we are doing this playbook install httpd then how it can install i am not going to write our playbook again we just need to call roles to call a role we just need to give the roles and followed by your role name what is our role name i am just going to get it from here setup apache that's it you have created your role quite simple right before executing let me open it so this is the one now before executing we are going to uninstall our httpd from all these systems so this is my rhl server and uh, amazon linux then ubuntu so we are going to uninstall it and if you do remember in rhl it was failing so we should disable the cc linux for that cat slash etc sc linux so sc linux under this one we have a config file here we have a option called uh, sc linux by default this value is in enforcing we change it to disable once disabled we should execute a set enforcing zero so that it will work now my rhl server is working fine so there is no issue now let's go back and uh, uninstall our httpd so we have already written this ansible playbook right so ansible ansible playbook minus i hosts uninstall httpd okay it is stopped services on rhl distributions and in uninstalled on rhl similar way stopping apache 2 and uninstalled cool now let's execute our ansible role this is the file right clear the screen ansible playbook command is as it is hosts 
and our playbook name minus minus check. First I am validating it. Make sure that our playbook is fine. So it is not installed, so it is going to install it. Copying file, it is already there, right? So it won't copy. And if you see here, it is trying to check for the httpd.conf, but uh, we have removed our configuration, right? So it doesn't work. Now let's execute this one without check. Now what will happen? It is going to install httpd. So before in installing, let me check the services httpd and uh, it is not running and if i check same on amazon linux here also it is not running if i go to this is ubuntu system right so apache 2 so here also it is not running so i am currently under slash etc apache in this location a file called ports.conf file get creates here the port number get updates now i am going to access my servers from the browsers so once the installations are successful and start the services we could able to access our applications from the browser so let's go back first i am taking rhl server go with the public dns and port number is 8082 right that is the one we are passing through variable then amazon linux i am taking so 8082 here also it is not running okay rhl also it is not running here also it is not running let's go and access from ubuntu okay here also it is not running now let's execute it so i'm going on to my ansible master system let's execute it once it is executed our httpd service should run on port number 8082 but default one is 80 right we are changing through our ansible playbook and uh, first it is installing packages and uh, on ubuntu also it's installed copying index.html in previous lecture we have already done that one so it is not copying this time and uh, it is changing the port number to 8082 starting the service and port number has been changed right so restarting the services now let's go and check it out you can see it is running here also it is running and here also it is running okay now if i see the port number it should be changed to 8082 earlier it is 8088 now yep here it is accessible from this system let me refresh to yes here also fine and here also fine okay cool right now to test it further what i am going to do is i will disable the port number from the vars file nothing but i don't pass the variable name whenever you don't pass variable name it go and check for the variable in the defaults and whatever value is there that value it is going to take so in our situation the default value is 8080 right now i'm going to edit my vars main.yml i'm just commenting it out my my variable value so now it should go on to take the default port number so let's execute it now so this time it won't install it but it's updated the configuration so that is the reason it should restart the service you can see here it is not starting the service this time it is restarting and port number is changing to 8080 okay it's completed now if i go and check for the port number you can check it over here etc httpd conf httpd.conf and you can just grab for listen so here the port number get updates it is updated with 8080 same thing if i do over here you can see the same thing and here also it should be 8080 because it took the default one and if i refresh this one it won't work because now it is running on port number 8080 let me change it to 8080 yes here also if i refresh it won't work and change it to 8080 same case over here as well so this is how we can provide default values while running your roles 
now one last check I am doing that is I am going to pass my variables through extra vars so minus minus extra vars so port is equal to 8088 I am giving so if I give this one this will have the highest priority I will go and enable the vars as well even though you enable vars or if you have defaults nothing will be taken if you provide your variable through ansible command line or while running your ansible playbook okay now you can see here let's change it to 8088 and if i open this file 8088 same thing over here and same thing over here as well now it won't work on port number 8080 we should change it to the 8088 all right so that is how we can use our ansible roles so this is one of the example it is up to your requirement how can you write your ansible role but this is the procedure so it is quite simple you need to divide and uh, split your tasks according to the folders whatever is available that's it and ansible can able to do all this stuff you can see here it is running the setup apache right so it knows that where i can get what that is how it is designed that's all for this lecture and see you in the next lecture